There's a fresh sense of optimism in Tasmania's mining sector as commodity prices recover from devastating lows two years ago. Mining companies are now reinvesting in their businesses, hiring new workers and planning major projects. But analysts warn of the potential for an oversupply in the resources market. In Tasmania's rugged northwest, mining is roaring into action once again. After years of economic uncertainty, commodity prices are recovering, and with it, optimism from those in the industry. Well, this is about the best period of this, this mine's ever had. For Gilbert Charles, mining is in the blood. The local from Circular Head has been in the industry for 50 years. He's relieved miners are being rehired by Grange Resources at Savage River after 55 jobs were lost two years ago. A couple of years back, prices were bad, we made redundancies. Now we're starting to build the team back up and it's built good for morale. The value of iron ore has recovered from a low of $40 a tonne two years ago to nearly $80 a tonne. The company is now looking to turn this open cut mine into an underground operation as well. For a start we're looking at a $10 million drilling program as the first part of a pre-feasibility study to look at the potential to go underground. 1,800 metres beneath the earth at MMG Mine in Rosebury, there's also a boom underway. On average, I'd say our prices went up by about 40%, which is significant. Buoyed by the recovery in prices since 2015, the Chinese-owned mine is investing $50 million into a new processing facility and millions more into exploration. We're currently doing um, underground exploration drilling to look for more ore at the value of about $16 million, which leads to more jobs. Just exploration is 45 extra people on site doing exploration drilling for us. With commodity prices recovering, Tasmania's mining sector is in overdrive. The question is, for how long? Financial analyst Sam Baker says the market could be a victim of its own success. Look, um, there is a lot of demand coming out of China and emerging markets for commodities, particularly iron ore and zinc. Um, however, with more supply potentially coming on globally, uh, that could potentially put some pressure on, on commodity prices in the future. For Damien McLean, the boom has bought him valuable time with his family in Tasmania. Job security is a big thing, so for me, for, for the family as well, and like I said, for the community, it's good for good for Rosebury and good for the West Coast. Both Grange and MMG hope to continue production into the 2030s, but a US-China trade war could blow a hole in profits. For now, the going's good, so these miners will be digging in as long as they can. Henry Zwartz, ABC News, Rosebury.